Oh, that's a wall. Hey everyone, welcome back to Danganronpa 2. We're still in investigation. Nagato's helping me. Honestly, I don't know if I need the help, but I, I guess it's okay that he's along with us. I guess it's better than just doing it alone, but man, so far we've got a lot of information and I think there's still more information to come. How come Byaki was able to say something like that in the darkness? Now, this part was a little bit confusing to me. I didn't get it at first. I don't know if this counts as a spoiler, and maybe it does, but people did actually explain to me that I guess there was something lost in translation with what Byaki originally said. I think I think people were hinting that he said something like, get off me, or, or what's, you know, what are you doing? And for some reason, the English changed it to like, what's this? Like that which could really be construed as anything. So I guess that's what Nagito's bringing up now, because the first thing we heard wasn't really noteworthy, but if he actually did say, like, get off me or what are you doing, that's different. Like, that's real different. I wonder why they changed it. Like, what the hell, what's going on here, or this is? See, that's... That seems like normal things to say when the lights go out, doesn't it? It makes me wonder. Again, I don't want any spoilers really per se, but if you think it's something super important while well, my mods will run it by, you know, me and see if... They'll, they'll keep anything that's real bad. Away from my eyes. Right, the storage room. Now, I can't imagine there's going to be too much in here, but let's take a look anyway. The storage room is really dusty and dark. Wow. My hands were full cleaning the dining hall. I couldn't even touch this room. It's okay, I don't really think this room needed to be cleaned. It even has cobwebs. There's no way I could stay in here for a long time. Yeah, really. Alright, let's see. Um, what was even in here to look at in the first place? The camera and the monitor is probably nothing. Let's just be honest. There's an awful lot of boxes. <laughs> we don't have time to go through each and every one of them. I guess I should leave them alone. Yep. A wise decision. Well, how do you already know? You know, it's getting more suspicious every time I think about it. Stacks of clean tablecloths that looks like they haven't been used yet. I guess there's nothing strange here. Okay. Camper? There's a huge piece of cloth randomly shoved in here. Perhaps... Is this a tablecloth? Oh, a tablecloth. Wait, huh? Hold on. There's something on it. Oh, no. Of course. Well, okay. That's interesting to me. Also, I'm really sorry for the amount of loud cars outside. Again. Huh? Every time I think they're not gonna be here, they're just- I guess they all just live here. A blood stain? Come here, take a closer look. What? Oh, it's too dark. I can't really see that clearly. There's no mistaking it. This is clearly a blood stain. Which means this tablecloth is connected to Byakuya's murder, right? Well, if that tablecloth has a blood stain on it, it's a possibility. Seriously, it is a bloodstain. Why doesn't he believe me? I'm starting to think you did it. Storage room tablecloth. Interesting. But what could this mean? Because the the tablecloth where Byakia was already found has blood all over the inside of it as well. Okay. Interesting. Oh, the irons, right. Are these irons? It looks like they were recently turned on, but why are there three irons on this ironing board? Mm, just as I thought, your eyes don't miss a thing. When I was looking for Byakia after the blackout, I also found these irons, but when I found them, all three of them were turned on. Turned on? Yep. It'd be bad if another blackout happened, so I, I turned them off. But doesn't it feel kind of sinister? Sinister? Well... Yeah, why were they on, though? I'm assuming they're for ironing the tablecloths, so that's why they're here, but... Why would anyone need them unless they were using them to set up for the party? Which I guess could be a thing. Irons in the storage room, okay. Interesting. Hajime. Hajime? How much longer are you going to stay in this dark place? You're just wasting your time. Well, I'm sorry, but I want to be very thorough. You know, you're starting to get on my nerves a little bit. I'm, I'm not trying to be rude here. Let's move on and investigate other places already. Huh? I get it, you're right. I guess that's his way of telling us to get the fuck out of here, but honestly, I will make that decision in my own time. You don't have to tell me. Get the hell out of here. 
Wait, does he have anything else to say? <laughs> Just better check. Oh no, it's, it's it's the same. All right, he's still talking about that. Hi, Sonia. How are you? People did say to stop the star the Starfire talk, so I'll stop. I just thought it was funny, but if it's annoying everybody, I will not do it. This is still locked, I guess. Okay. What? Well, who could it possibly hey! be? <laughs> I, I guess this will work. Just screaming to see if anyone's in there. We knocked on the door and tried calling out to whoever was on the other side, but... Mm. There's no response. This is going nowhere. I guess we should give up for now and check on it later. Are we sure it's not just locked? There might not even be anybody in there for all we know. I don't know. It's weird. Mystery of the phantom bathroom. Is Soda still in here? Yeah. Oh, and Peko too. Okay. Hajime. The old building circuit breaker should be inside this office. Circuit breaker, huh? It might be related to the blackout. So, it's better if we check the circuit breaker first. Guess what? No. Do what I freaking want. Talk to whoever I Maybe. want first. Hey girl, can you come with me instead of Nagito? Because honestly, he's really just annoying me at this point. Hey, isn't Peko the killer? Why do you think that? I mean... Well, she wandered off somewhere even though she was supposed to be in the office. When we were looking for Byaki after the blackout, I went to the office right away, but... When I got here, she was gone. Well, well, we'll ask her about it. I shouldn't say this too loudly or else Miss Sonia will yell at me. Hmm. Peko's probably the one who tripped the circuit breaker and used the blackout to her advantage to kill Byakia. But why? What's her motive? Also, I really like the sprite. Hey! And don't you think she looks kind of ruthless too? Like an assassin, right? I thought you liked pretty girls. Why are you harping on her? Well, it's not like you look any better, owned. Too bad he didn't say that, actually. Alright, Kazuchi's account. So he thinks Peko did it. Fine. Desk. Is it the desk the staff use for busy work? There's nothing in particular that catches my eye. Well, obviously, let's also look at this. This Duralumin case. It should contain all the dangerous items Byakia collected. Oh, are we not going to open it? Hey. Don't we have the key? Oh, maybe we should check inside, just to be safe. But it's locked. Hajime, but we found the key earlier, didn't we? Yep. Byakia had the key to this particular Duralumin case with him. Check it out. I brought it with me so there's no need to worry. That's bogus. This dude just stealing my thunder because we saw it and we got it as a truth bullet, didn't we? We saw it on Byaki's body earlier, or I think actually, we no, we might have gotten it in the case. But either way, we did see it. No, oh, that's, that's bunk, Hajime. You should have picked that up yourself. Hey, is it okay to take that without permission? Now, now. It's forbidden to tamper with the crime scene, but if we don't, we can't check inside, right? <laughs> so I should open it. Oh, I guess. This guy, he doesn't feel any remorse. Well, okay, so if he gets in trouble and not me, then it was it was a good thing. See? See, it's open. Forks, kitchen knives, iron skewers, and various tools are crammed inside. How the hell did those skewers fit? Look, even if you close the case, they won't fit. That's ridiculous. But it's not possible that the killer took anything from here. Because the key to this case was inside the case Byakia had with him. Right, we found it in the case. That's what I thought. I guess you're right about that. Alright, well then that doesn't really mean much, does it? Peko, you are right, darling. <laughs> I can already tell. You doubt me, correct? Huh? I don't actually. <sighs> However, it does not surprise me. An unexpected blackout occurred, and during that time, Byakuya was killed. Anyway... The circuit breaker is in this office. Naturally, I look suspicious since I was supposed to be here. Wait! Supposed to be here? Does that mean... I see. Oh, so I was right. You weren't in the office. But why? Weren't you supposed to guard the circuit breaker and the Duralumin case with all the weapons in it? Huh? So, where'd you run off to on your own? Well... Well, that is... Ugh. What's wrong? What happened, girl? Ugh. Peko suddenly dropped to one knee and started groaning on the spot. Oh, no. Is she like Nekomaru now? Did the food give her a stomachache and she had to run off to it? Hey, what happened? <sighs> no. <sighs> I am just not feeling too well. I apologize, but I excuse me. She had to what run to the, the bathroom. Heck? Excuse me, what was that? Hey. Peko, 
It appears the bathroom inside this old building is currently occupied, so I recommend either the hotel lobby or your cottage. Huh? It seems like it will be a tough path. You can do it, girl. Oh man, we've all been there. So, okay, so probably what happened there, if I had to guess, is she ate the food. It was too probably rich for her. She got a stomach ache. And maybe she was in the bathroom the entire time then. With cold sweat dripping from her forehead, Pekko wobbled out of the office. Man, what a mood. Who hasn't been there, though? What happened to her? Hajime, I'll explain it to you when you're older. Oh, it's kind of hard for me to say it myself. I already feel bad enough for Pekko as it is. See, even Nagito knows what it is, you dummy. What does that mean? Oh my god, Hajime, honestly? Gotta sit your ass down and talk to you about some things. I mean, is it cool? Uh, she didn't run away or something. That's right. Because if she ran away, she's obviously the killer. I'm almost positive. Is that really what it is? I don't think so. No, I, I honestly don't think so. For some reason, I'm just not feeling it. This remote control is for the office's air conditioner. Huh? The timer here is set to 11.30. Same as the other, right? I think so. Wasn't the timer for the air conditioner in the dining hall also set for that time? It can't be a coincidence, right? I don't think so. AC timer has been updated. Now here's something to think about. What if both of them were timed on purpose and then knowingly, although I don't know how you would know this, maybe both of them turning out at the same time caused the fuse to break? That could be a thing. Are we done in here, do you reckon? Nagito didn't really say anything. I guess I should look around for a bit. Oh, I guess we're not done. Where did I miss? Oh, up here, obviously the circuit breaker your duffer. It's up there on the wall. Well, it's so high up, you wouldn't expect it to be up there. I forgot totally. This must be the old building circuit breaker. The blackout probably happened because of this. I see. It doesn't look like someone did anything to it. Nothing else looks suspicious either. The circuit breaker is pretty high up. Even if you use a stepladder, you won't reach it. Hmm. Ah, uh, yeah, I totally agree. That's why it's so mysterious. Oh, well, during the blackout, I was panicking so bad I forgot about it, but... You're right. Even with the stepladder, there's no way you'd be able to reach it. Which means someone must have reset the breaker after the blackout. But who? Was it you? I did it. Whoa! Well, uh, it's here! Actually, you idiots had no idea what to do about the blackout, so I'm the one who reset the circuit breaker. By the way... By the way, I'm not the one who tripped it. The killer did that, of course. <laughs> Are we sure at this point? I mean, he's never really done anything before, so I guess I have to believe him. But how did someone as small as you reset the breaker? Hey, um... Well, first of all, my eyes look real good at night, okay? So I have no trouble seeing in the dark. And if you want to know how I reached the circuit breaker... My body stretches. What? Like Stretch Armstrong. That's ridiculous. You know, I'm very elastic. Is that... Okay. I won't be fooled! Never mind. <laughs> Liar! It's I'm true. serious, wanna see... No, I don't wanna see anything of your stretch. Honestly, I really... Just don't... Don't even show it to me. Wanna see a version of Monokuma with his body all stretched out? It's gross. It's grotesque! Uh, no thanks. Just imagining it makes me want to puke. Yeah, same. Oh, such a shame. Man, he was trying to show us his dingle. I knew it. So cool! Still, don't you think Monokuma's such a nice guy? In a popularity contest, he'd take first place. Uh, I see. What the hell? So he's the one who reset the breaker? Oh, uh, well, in that case, I'm convinced. There's no way we'd be able to reach it. If that's the case, how did the killer trip the circuit breaker? They didn't trip it or set it to be tripped. Or if they didn't. Maybe no, a broom no. or something? I don't know. Something that would like enable you to just hit it. Now then, I guess we're done with the office, don't you think so? Oh, we should get going now. Alright, let's go. Yep. Nagato, you can stay you can stay here actually. It's fine. Why don't you why don't you keep soda company? Yep. Because oh. Ah shit. Okay, it looks like you pretty much finished looking around the old building. Hey, so how about we check out Byakuya's cottage? Byakuya's cottage? I mean, we were there before, but maybe there's something there now, I guess? Yep. There might be clues there, so I thought it'd be good to check it out just in case. 
Oh, I see. So this is why that Monokuma was in there. I was worried about that before. I was actually worried, like, they wouldn't just stick a Monokuma to find in, like, random cottages that you might not come across, right? So you do have to go to Byakuya's house, and that's why it was there. Okay, that makes me feel a little better. I was scared I might encounter some danger if I went there by myself. Like what? Well, I don't really mind going there together, but aren't you worried about the possibility that I might be the danger? Hey, you mean, am I worried about you being the killer? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I don't think you're the killer. In fact, I can't even imagine it. Oh no, Hajime. We're not tough enough, I guess. It's like, instead of living with doubt in others, it's so much better to die believing in others. Except you don't believe in anyone who's going to be waiting there for you. Okay, well. We're doing this so we can live, you know? I see. As I thought. You sure are strong. You're definitely the chosen one. Chosen by Hope Speak Academy. Alright! Alright, let's get going! To Byakuya's cottage! Yeah... I don't know why, but every time we talk, I don't really know how I'm supposed to react. I'm starting to get that feeling too. It's actually starting to become a bad feeling. I hope I'm wrong. The moment I left the old building, there was a strange scene unfolding before me. What's going on? What are you two doing? What's hey, this? What are you doing? <laughs> Gundam, did you get your earring back, bro? Why is she? What are they looking at? It's a bit, it's a bit strange. What am I doing, you say? <laughs> ha! Now that is truly a foolish question. Boy, I can't, I can't give his voice actor any. I can't do it. I can't give him any. Pro like it's so good. I can't do it justice. Um, we're just checking to see if we can get under the floor from here. Oh. Oh, I see. Hang on now. They're right. The floorboards, didn't they have giant spaces in between? Oh no. Could Byakuya have been stabbed from under the floor? What? Well, didn't even think about that. Don't answer that. That's me talking to myself. All right. If you do, the mods are going to get you. Under the floor? Why? You guys are smart. But God, God, I would have never have thought of that, honestly. Who said it was futile? Who decided it was impossible? Honestly, he's probably just trying to find his earring, but you know what? That honestly led me to think, oh, you guys, thank you. How did you know I cannot recover my earring? It was, it was that. And if we, if we hadn't really wanted to get the earring, we wouldn't have known. So thank you for that. If it is possible to get under the floor, it'll change our understanding of the murder. I think... I think you're right, Chiaki. So I thought... it was important to check you're it. You're smart. Well done. I Here see. I thought you were just dozy this whole time. I see. Under the floor, huh? I never considered thinking of it like that. What do you mean? See? Come on, think about it. Here we go. Hey. The carpet I laid didn't reach the table where we found Byakuya's body, right? True. And the dining hall had huge gaps between the floorboards. Then, is it possible that the killer killed Byakuya by stabbing him from beneath the floor? That's yep. crazy. But yeah, I think so. That's what I thought. So I'm trying to see if we can get under it from here. How, what have you found? Well? Hmm. Well, I guess it's not possible to get under the floor from outside. But maybe somewhere inside, though. The building is surrounded by firm fences. There's no way to sneak under the floor from there. But... Oh, even so, I couldn't find a way to get under the floor from inside the building either. Oh, really? Shoot. Well, then how must it have occurred? Do you think there's a possibility there's a hidden hole somewhere? Probably at this point. Well... Oh, no, that's not possible. How do you know? Did you check? Are you sure? At any rate, it seems you can't get under the floor from outside the building. That's a relief. I think he's just brushing this off too suddenly. Relief? Why? Hmm. Oh, because if you could get under the floor from outside, there'd only be one logical suspect. The only person who didn't come to the party and also doesn't have an alibi. Oh, Fuyu, right. So... I suspected him too. That's why I was checking to see if it's possible to get under the floor from the outside. Well, speaking of which, not long after I began guarding the entrance, Fuyuhiko came here. He did? Oh, wow. Now, see, I think it's too easy to blame it on Fuyu because he's obviously the only one out. I thought it was way too easy. 
Huh? Huh? What happened for you, Hiko? Huh? Uh, hey, what are you doing here? All alone in a place like this? Yep. I'm standing guard so Monokuma doesn't come inside. Huh. Huh. How diligent of you. Ah, He's blushing a little innate. Well, I, I think he's just rosy-cheeked automatically, but... Although I could see these two. No? I ship it. Hey, hey. You're not coming to the party? What are you saying? Uh, hell no, not even if you paid me. Parties are stupid. They make me want to puke. Oh. Well. You want to come to the party, right? Isn't that why you came here? Oh, he did want to come. Oh, you. fool you. He was a little... Maybe he was going to try to sneak in if someone wasn't out here. Oh, bless. Oh, I like him. Uh, of course not. I was just going for a damn walk. What? Do I have to report to you every time I want to go for a fucking walk? That's wrong. No, it's not like that, but... <laughs> then leave me alone. Oh, bless. Mm. And then he just left. So that happened, but why did he come here? I don't know. See? He probably wants to be a part of the group, but he can't be honest about it. Yeah. Isn't that sweet? He believes he's different from everyone else. That's why he's always alone. Wow, Chucky, you're really actually perceptive. Hey, hey. He's like uh, the main character of an RPG. Have you played those before? Huh? When did we start talking about video games? I think that was very... Chucky, I think you've been the most helpful. Thank you. I see. Even though we don't really know what he's thinking, I don't think we have any reason to doubt him. I don't... Yeah, no. I, at, at this point, I'm gonna really safely assume that Peko and Fuyu are completely innocent. I'm glad. Oh, that's a relief. I'm glad. Well, someone did it, though. You keep saying you're glad, but we have no idea who the killer is. I'm starting to suspect you, to be honest. <laughs> Only because you're acting so shady. Well, I guess for now we should stick to the plan and head over to Byaki's cottage. Aha! <laughs> As long as the probability is greater than zero, that will suffice. I, have not I will most even half assuredly of my reclaim the Hellhound earring with my own two hands. It seems he has no intention of investigating. Probably not till he gets that earring back, anyway. Right, Chucky, do you have anything else to say? You were really helpful. Um, um I guess for now, I've discovered the building is surrounded by a firm fence, so there's no way to sneak under the floor from there, I think. Also, yep. Blue Hiko came by not long after the party started. Yeah, we got that. Thank you. That was helpful. Um, should we? Is it even worth looking in here? I, I don't think we've missed anyone, but who's gone? Is there anyone else that's gone? Uh, uh no. Oh, maybe I didn't need to come in here. Fine. Uh, I don't... Should we go upstairs? Maybe not. People said to save that for last, like, almost always, so let's do that. Let's go... I mean, not that I think that up there will actually progress the story, but you never freaking know. There's Fuyu over there. Should we try to talk to him? I think we should. Hey. What's up? You're alright. Now I want to be <gasps> your friend, dude. What the hell? Didn't I tell you to leave me alone? That's not happening. Didn't you hear Monokuma's announcement? <laughs> of course I did. Apparently Byaki's the one who got killed. <laughs> so what? What did you say? Do you think I'm the killer? Think whatever you want, I'm used to being mistrusted. No, Hajime, this is gonna make it worse. That's not why I'm... Whatever, just tell me what you were doing while everyone else was at the party. Huh? Tuh, checking my alibi, eh? <laughs> well, I don't have one. I was just chilling in my cottage all by myself during that time. The whole time? Because Chiaki said she saw you in front of the old building. Shut up! Nosy bitch. Jeez. It's true, I went for a little walk, and then, just by chance, I ended up passing the old building. Were you really going for a walk? Don't tell me you were actually trying to join the party. Don't fuck with me! Why the hell would I do that? It's a coincidence. A coincidence! Hajime, you're not good at this. All right, I got it. Hmm. <laughs> dumbass. All right, well. Well, fine. Um, who haven't we... Who haven't we talked to? Nekomaru? He ran out. Is he around? I wonder where he would be. His house? Huh. 
I do kind of want to find him before I go... Oh well, let's go to Byakuya's house then. Well, maybe we'll find him. Maybe we don't have to talk to him. I don't know, but it seems weird. Hey, I leveled up. Oh shoot, that reminds me. I know we're in the middle of something, but you never know. Yes, freaking it. When? I guess we just wait for this thing to grow up. I suppose that's what we do. I thought that was the last growth, but I guess I'm totally wrong. Okay, here's Byakuya's house. We've been in here before. Huh? It's locked. Hey. I guess we need to ask him for help. Oh, Monokuma. And so, Nagito took a deep breath. Hey! Hey, Monokuma! Did you call me? Hello. Yay! Did you call me? Nagito, when did you train Monokuma? Hey. Hey, Monokuma, I was wondering if you could do us a favor. There's something we want to investigate. What's this? Hey, who are you talking to? That's just my after image. Oh. <laughs> when I get serious, my after image is unleashed. Wow. What? I can even play soccer by myself as long as I have this cloning technique. That would be boring to play alone. I don't have time for this. Just hurry up and open the Byakuya's cottage already. Well, oh, this is for the class trial. It's something we really need. Hmm? For the class trial? This is <laughs> If it's for the class trial, there's no way I can refuse. Now then, there's only one spell that can open these doors. What is that? Oh, it worked. I'll leave the rest to you! <laughs> See? I've unlocked the door! Now you can investigate to your heart's content! Bye, thanks! Why does it open with a magic spell? Because Jeez. Monokuma is special. Oh, it's probably powered by electricity. At any rate, that performance was a waste of time. I see. I guess we should just go inside then. You're right. Yeah, I guess you're right. I don't think either of them want to go inside at this point. Uh, well this looks all mostly the same. So this is where you'd get the Monokuma. But we already got it. Wait, was this here before? What's this? There's an envelope on the table. It's a letter. Someone sent to Byakuya? It says to him right That's there. That's weird. There's no sender. That looks pretty suspicious. Hajime. Hajime, you should check what's inside. Why the fuck do I have to do everything here? Yeah, you're right. Man. Let's see. What's in it? Be careful. The first kill will happen tonight. Someone will definitely kill someone. Huh? Right. Okay. Interesting. Th this is... This is... is this a crime warning? No, it says be careful. It's probably a threatening letter. Regardless, who would send something like this? Uh, maybe... Hey, maybe this is why Byakuya suddenly decided to throw a party. Oh, maybe. To keep everybody in one place. Huh? The first kill will happen tonight. Because someone made this threat to Byakuya. He gathered everyone in one area. He was extremely cautious about all the dangerous items. He was trying to create a scenario in which everyone could monitor each other. Oh, he thought that if he did that, nobody would be able to kill anyone. So, he believed this crazy letter? But... He couldn't ignore the possibility of this happening, even if it was a worst case scenario. Hey. Remember what Byakuya kept saying? How he wouldn't let anyone become a victim? He couldn't overlook that slim possibility just to keep his promise. But well, then why did he keep it a secret? If he had just told us... Nope. Oh, he probably couldn't. He probably thought that that was also worst case scenario. What do you mean? Mm. Well, if everyone knew it was in the letter, whether it's a lie or not, everyone would have likely begun to doubt each other, and at that point there'd be no turning back. I guess you're right about that. So, Byakuya tried to do something about this all by himself without telling anyone? Yep. Oh, his strong sense of responsibility. It's the only explanation I can think of. I guess. I guess that is true. Anyway, whoever sent Byaki this letter also killed him. Is that what you're saying? Sorry. No. This could be a prank and it might not have to do anything at all. What was that? He suddenly became really quiet. I see. He doesn't want to believe that one of us could be a killer. But still, we've come all the way here and it's the only thing I can think of. The person who wrote this letter murdered Byakuya. If that's the case, that person completely predicted how Byakuya would react once he received it. 
If, if that's correct, we still don't know for sure. They planned to manipulate Biakia and killed him right before our eyes, in that old building. Damn it. Who the hell would do it? All right, that's very important. Well, the thing is, I, I guess it makes sense a little bit to get rid of Biakia first because he took charge right hey. away and tried to keep everybody calm. So without him, maybe the killer was hoping everybody would rise into a panic and be easy to control and again, more killings would happen. That would be my first thought anyway. Hajime, there's probably not much time left before the class trial starts. Oh, probably. <laughs> Which reminds me, you asked Mahiru for a favor earlier, right? What is this change? Yeah, I wanted her to find out where everyone was standing before the blackout. Uh, she's probably finished by now. You're coming with me, right? Are you not? Sorry. Sorry, that's all you. Huh? I need some time alone. I'd like some time to collect my thoughts. I see. I understand. Hey. Hmm. Also, if you're going back to that old building, you should hear what Mikan has to say as well. What? Why? We already talked to her. Oh, she's doing the autopsy, of course. I wasn't Bye actually now. sure she was actually doing it because she seemed so afraid. Bye. He's suspicious. I don't care what I have to do. He's suspicious. I need to find out what's going on with him. He was pretty pale. I wonder if he... God, did we all get, like, food poisoning or something? Now's not the time for me to worry about Nagito. There isn't much time left. I'd better hurry over to the old building. Alright, let's go. I guess that means that the trial is close at hand. I really hope I don't mess up the trial, you guys. I did put it on easy because I had heard that the trials here are a lot more difficult than the first. So, um, I really... Sorry about that. The logic is still set to regular, but the actions are gonna be dumbed down because I don't... I want to get through the story and not freak out about stuff. Hi! <laughs> too cruel! This is just too cruel! Oh yeah, I might as well ask her about the old building's windows. Hey, do you have a sec? I want to ask you something. <laughs> I don't want to help you guys mistrust your friends. What the hell? It's not like we're doing this because we want to. No, now's not the time to fight about stuff like that. More importantly, do you know why the old building's windows are covered by iron plates? Hmm? Iron plates? I... I covered them up, so nobody makes the mistake of going inside. Since it's dangerous because of the renovation. I see, the renovation. So that's why you covered them up? Hmm, because it's dangerous to go inside. Danger isn't supposed to exist on the island. <laughs> this is not how it was supposed to be. But why did it get like this? It's cruel, too cruel. <laughs> Just because it's cruel doesn't mean you can keep crying. Crying won't solve anything. We have to do this no matter what. Poor Monami. Still can't tell if she's good or not. I guess we're gonna have to wait until later. Probably much later if I had to guess. <laughs> what happened? Who that? What the? What the hell was that loud voice? Was that Nekomaru? It sounded like him. Weird that we can't look at that. Oh, here, yeah. Hey, boy. Oh, hi. Huh? I feel so lighthearted right now. Oh, did you poop finally blast? Well, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> I, Nekumaru Nida, I have been reborn. I have no intention of losing anymore. Losing to who? Oh. I won't lose to anyone, not even my past self. That sounds cool and all, but what are you even talking about? Shit! Of course. What? I don't know who was behind it, but someone tried to make a shitty bastard out of me. Some scoundrel was occupying the bathroom before the party was about to start. Now that you mention it, you said something like that shortly after the party started. Yeah. Ew! Here's a weird thought. Oh, this probably isn't true. It's probably just me going crazy, but... Did Neko and, and Peko eat some food that was purposely made weird so that they would leave? Because they are both pretty big, like, athletic brutes. Although Akane was still here, so that doesn't make all the sense in the world. She could also beat somebody's ass. However, if you think I'd be angered by something like that, you've all underestimated my nerve and patience. Do all and achieve all with one's presence of mind. That's the goal of a true leader! In other words, a leader must never falter in any situation, but always have the presence of one's mind. 
he says that, but I'm pretty sure he was shaken up by the whole ordeal. Oh well, best not to go into it. Anyway, so you're saying the bathroom door was shut from before the party started to after the blackout. So what I mean is... And the bathroom was finally unoccupied after Byakuya's body was found. Oh, so he was in there when we checked. That's about how long that lasted. What he said sounds stupid and irrelevant, but I should remember it just in case. That's probably going to be important at some point. Alright. Uh, right. Okay. Um, we have to talk to... Mahiru and Mikan. Let's do that. See what they found. Hey, girls. Hey! Hey, you're here! Where the hell did you wander off to? I wasn't wandering, I was investigating as much as I could. <laughs> I see. Well, if you weren't slacking off, then I guess it's fine. So, did you find anything? Hmm. Yeah, sorta. You don't sound too sure. Hey! Well, just take a look at this. Right, this beautiful um, picture, I love it. Just as you told me, using the two photos I took before the blackout. I tried to pinpoint where everyone was standing. I see, I see. When I did, this diagram was the result. Okay. So this is everyone's standing position before the blackout. Everyone's pretty much in the dining hall. I've made this diagram from analyzing the photos, so I'm pretty sure it's accurate. Just as I thought. Byakuya was standing a far distance from that table. <laughs> I noticed that Nagito's not, though. It's impossible. There's no way he'd be able to move that far during the blackout. Huh? What's this line extending from the table where Byakuya was killed? Um... Um, it's the desk lamp. I drew the power cord for it, just in case. The power cord for the desk lamp? That cord is extending from the table where Byaki was killed. That means... Hey, so, did you find something? It's not clear to me yet, but... Hmm. I guess you're right. I didn't really understand it myself when I was drawing it. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. I see. I think I see. Maybe. I have a feeling it's either a potential clue or just a waste of labor. No, it wasn't a waste at all. Huh? Huh? It's not clear to me yet. There's no mistake of clues hidden here. An extremely important one. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, um, if you like, I can tell you a little bit of what I want to say. Did you find out anything? Uh, I tried, within reason, to perform an autopsy on Byakuya's body. Well, and I discovered... There are several puncture wounds above, around Byakuya's chest and abdominal region. Deep, deep wounds, deep enough to reach his lungs and internal organs. <laughs> oh, it can be assumed that a very thin, sharp object around five millimeters in diameter was used to stab him over and over again, which is what I believe. Oh. Hey, are you okay? I'm sorry. Talking about it made me sad. No need to push yourself. I mostly got the gist of what you wanted to say. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, Mikan. Around five millimeters in diameter, huh? Isn't that pretty thin? That's as thin as an ice pick or an all. Oh no. I get it. I do get it. All right. No. Is it Ding Dong Bing Bong already? Oh no, I don't think I'm ready. Oh Alrighty, God. guys, it's finally time. That's right, it's time for the long-awaited class trial. Okay, here we go. Now then, I shall tell you all the meeting place. Yeah, where will that be? At the central island of Jabberwock Island, there is a mountain with my adorable face carved into it. Of course. That, my friends, is Monokuma Rock. Okay. Once you're there, please proceed to the underground by taking the elevator located at the secret entrance. Right. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Oh my god, okay. It's time. A mountain with a carving of Monokuma's face. At the central island? Let's go. 
We're gonna have to do that though in the next one. So I'll start the trial like I usually did with one and we'll go through all of the truth bullets that we have to make sure we're on the right page. And then I'll start. It might be a little shady at first, guys, until I get used to it. I'm not sure if there's different mechanics or what, but I'll do the best I can with you helping me. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.